Hello everyone, I'm your host Dikyan Shu and I'm back with a new lecture where we are going to learn about Palo Alto training only. So today we are going to discuss many things about firewall. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in the last lecture, we have discussed what is firewall, what is the role of a firewall, generations of firewall, why we need the next generation firewall, Introduction to a Palo Alto Next Generation Firewall. What is a single pass pilot processing architecture? And what are the course modules which we are going to cover throughout the course training? So, here today I am going to cover the module 0 and module 1, where we will discuss about the firewall networking basics as well as platform and architecture. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so in the module 0, we have firewall networking basics in which we are going to cover what is gateway versus security gateway what is legacy versus next generation firewall stateful packet inspection as well as core feature of Palo Alto firewall okay so what is gateway and what is security gateway and how they are differentiated with each other so when we talk about gateway gateway is basically a layer 3 device that provide access for IP packets in and out of your local network. So it basically examines and focus on the packet from source to destination and what is the service it is requesting and it basically allows it. It doesn't maintain any connection or session table. Whereas in, in the security gateway, it basically works on layer four and it it focuses on the stateful inspection and maintains a connection table where you will be able to see the sessions which are getting created by firewall from which source it is receiving the traffic to which destination and all okay so what is legacy versus next generation firewall and we are saying legacy firewall it has a functionality of packet filtering firewall as well as it maintains the connection table but it has a limitation that it works from layer one to layer four only or it works till layer four only while in next generation firewall it examines the packet from layer one to layer seven it examines the packet thoroughly it tells you what is the actual application which user is demanding what kind of user it is from which you user group it belongs to what is the content inside it is it a file is it a URL which is trying to access and all those things? Okay, so what is stateful packet inspection? And we have stateful packet inspection, it basically monitors the flow of a packet. It maintains a connection table where you will be having all the connections or all the sessions which your firewall is making. It monitors the network connections such as what is the TCP stream, all TCP and UTP connections which are traversing across it. It maintains a dynamic state table where you will be able to what is the state of your connection. Okay, so it what is connection table? So connection table basically has five tuples in it. The source IP, the source port, destination IP, destination port, and the type of protocol. Okay. Let's take an example of it where we having a server of 172.16.38.1 is trying to access this destination server which is 172.16.38.2 and the service which it is requesting it's on port 80 it is a tcp service which it is requesting here we are able to see that from different source port it is trying to access this application it could be a web-based application, it could be a web-based URL, it could be anything. But our main focus is that our firewall is maintaining a stateful packet inspection. It is performing a stateful packet inspection. Okay. Okay. So what are the core features of Palo Alto? Why we use Palo Alto? So Palo Alto has multiple features which I've listed here, some of them. The first one is it identifies the user and protect user identity. It allows the access only to the specified users or the user group which you are defining under the user ID. 
it has a feature of user id where you can define and grant the access to a specific group of users the next one is single pass architecture which we have already discussed in the last lecture itself where we are having a common packet on which it is performing all the actions and it is processing the packet parallelly on data as well as on the management plane which sometimes termed as control plane also it has safety enable applications where it will identify the application what actual application the user is requesting it has secure encrypted traffic without compromising the privacy we can use the ssl decryption feature also here okay the next one is detect and prevent the advanced threat okay so when we need to do a threat prevention we need to purchase a license from palo alto we need to purchase a subscription for it and we can install in our firewall so this one is not free i'll tell you later on on this course what are the subscription which we can buy and for which we need to pay and which one is free the next one is reported and logging where you will be able to see all the loggings all the logs under the monitor tab where you will be able to see the firewall logs the system log the threat logs so that's all i'll show you later on this course where we are doing the practical labs then you will be able to understand the things better it has zero trust feature and it is natively integrated with sd1 so sd1 is basically the latest feature which they have introduced in 9.0 so i'll show you that one also earlier in the earlier version 8.0 series and before that one the pan os they don't have any sd1 feature but now they have introduced it okay so we have application id feature which identifies the application what kind of application it is let me give an example so if i'll talk about a user is requesting to access google.com on port 80 so it basically request us to access on port 80 that i need access of google.com on port 80 so what we are going to do we are going to open the security rules and we are going to allow it now if a attacker is sitting in the middle and it attacks on it it attacks on the packet which is coming from user and it modifies or alter the port 80 then what it happens our firewall will simply allow it and it will become a attack for us so here palo alto comes in picture and it uses a feature of app id where it will examine that is it really requesting for a port 80 service so palo alto has its own application which is defined as web browsing so when it is requesting for it instead of port 80 we can allow in the application as web browsing the next one is user id which identifies the user from which uh, user group it, the user is belong to what kind of uh, specific privileges it has or is it a valid user legitimate user or not the third one is the content id so it will actually scan the content if you are talking about transferring a file what kind of file it is is it a txt file is it a exe file or is it a url so that that's all things which uh, palo alto examines thoroughly it do a deep level of inspection okay so let's discuss about the next module which is platform and architecture here we are going to discuss about the next generation firewall architecture concepts and fi platform firewall so in the firewall platform we are going to see all the models as well as the pan os so i'll tell you one thing that for palo alto operating system palo alto term is as pan os so in the next generation firewall architecture we will discuss only the single pass parallel processing which we have already discussed in the last class where it do and perform operation once per packet it process the packet it perform all the networking function it do all the routing flow lookup stats counting net and all those functions it perform the functions basis on the specific hardware the app id content id user id etc it do a parallel processing where it it do the parallel processing of the data plane traffic as well as management plane traffic 
okay so what is the next generation firewall architecture look like how it is look like so here here it is here you will be able to see that single pass parallel processing architecture where in a single packet it is processing via policy engine it is processing the app id user id content id as well as it is processing all the networking functions just like checking the routing similarly it is processing parallelly processing the data traffic as well as the control point traffic which is actually the management plane okay so what are the firewall platforms which we have available so i have just given an overview here where you will be able to see we have hardware boxes as plus we have the vm series also in the hardware boxes we have pa 200 300 500 2000 series 3000 series 4000 series 7000 series i have just uh, tested some of the pictures of it so that you will get some idea how the Palo Alto firewall looks like here you will be able to see all the models which we have available nowadays in the market it is Palo Alto 200 220 220r 500 2000 series 3000 series 4000 series 5000 series and we have 7000 series in the vm we also have vm 50 100 200 300 500 700 and 1000 fg so how this firewall are it's in segregated and uh, uh, why they have multiple firewalls right you should have a question in mind so basis on the capacity of a particular device it it, it these are different from each other everyone has different throughput capacity everyone has different app id processing capacity everyone has different session maintaining capacity security policies capacity the zones number of policies number of applications number of services which you can create so it depends on the capacity so as well as you move to the higher level of the firewall you will get the advanced feature as well as you will get the better throughput because you should have better cpu you can maintain better number of sessions you will get a better throughput of it okay so here are the some uh, Banos versions, which is listed here. You will be able to see that earlier Palo Alto has 5.0 series also, 6.0 series also. But now they have some 7.0, 8.0, 9.0, and they recently introduced 9.1 also. Here you will be able to see, depending on the hardware, you will be able to see that which Banos is being supported by your device so if you have a palo alto 200 it will support 7.0 and it till 8.0 only if you have a 220 it sub it doesn't support 7.0 but it do support 8.0 9.0 9.1 9 if you'll see some higher level of version that is the palo alto 7000 series it supports 7.0 8.0 9.0 as well as 9.1 so 9.1 is the latest version i'll tell you this is the latest version of firewall which is now being introduced in the market nowadays the stable version of Palo Alto is 9.0.6 which they are recommending to install on your firewalls okay so here in the vm series also just like in vm50 it doesn't support 7.0 but it do support 8.0 and 9.0 and 9.1 there are some series also which supports all the version just like vm100 200 300 1000 hv where it's supporting 7.0, 8.0, 9.0, and 9.1. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture, guys. Hope you have learned a lot. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any query, you can post it me on comment. You you just need to mention your queries, whatever queries you have in my mind, and you can just paste it over there so that I'll be able to answer it. If you have any more doubt or you want to learn any other things associated to this or if you don't have uh, sufficient information if you are not able to understand anything you just post a comment i'll surely reply back on the same date sir so don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel i'm going to continue this course and i'm going to bring the live lab also in the future so don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much